Hello everyone, uh, getting ready to make some prefabs for a game I'm working on and before I do that I was uh, just downloading some uh, materials to use on those prefabs and I thought I'd show you uh, how easy it is to uh, just bring resources into Unity. Um, and so I have Unity open here, an empty scene. Um, and I've already been been uh, working at this for a little while, just bringing in some resources that I'm going to use to help uh, make some of my my prefabs. Um, I've down here in my assets, I've created a folder called materials, and uh, I've already downloaded a few packs of of stuff. You can see like uh, this one's kind of neat here. You have a, a bubble wrap. <laughs> um, and you have a preview of what it looks like over here as applied to a, a severe. Um, and let me just show you how easy it is. Uh, one of the the reasons uh, I decided to use Unity, um, one of the biggest reasons, was the uh, their their uh, asset store. And by default, when I open Unity, um, I, I have a window that opens up that that is for the asset store and. Uh, there are a lot of uh, free and uh, uh, paid uh, assets that you can uh, bring in and, and use in your in your games uh, so it really speeds the process uh, and it's really easy to use uh, if you happen to be opening up unity and the asset store isn't open you can go to get to it by uh, I believe it's under window and there you go asset store or command 9 or control 9 you know bring up the asset store you have to be signed in and I've I've already downloaded a few of these and I'm just uh, see what do I have yet look over here okay or concrete I haven't done this one yet. So, you see, th this one is uh, free. And all you have to do to bring it in is you drop this down and, and do download and import. And it'll take a few minutes. And while that's going, uh, I'll kind of show you how this, uh, I guess, a little bit about what it is I'm bringing, I'm downloading. Uh, to do that, I'm going to create a, just, a, just a quad in, in the scene and let's zoom, zoom in on it and let's say uh, I want to, this is, want to make this a section of fence um, and if I go, go down through these I know there's one here and it looks real good in here grid pattern preview that looks like a chain link fence so all I do is drag it on there and there I got a chain link fence now, because of the I used a quad, it there, it won't apply it to the other side, but uh, that's okay. We can we can fix that by either putting a quad from the other, other direction or or maybe changing some things around. But that's a, that's all there is to it. Uh, um, so using these uh, um, using these downloads are, are a really great way to um, speed up the process of developing your game. And you see, this is uh, just about done downloading. It's going to decompress it, and then I should get an option that shows up over here. There it is. And I'm just going to, all of them are checked, and I'm going to import them. And that just takes a uh, couple seconds here. Seems to be running a little slow with the screen recording. There it goes. All right, that took a few minutes, and uh, if you're listening to this, I'll probably clipped out some of that down that import time. Uh, but uh, if you look here, uh, it showed up. Oh, there it is, architecture texture pack. And I'm just just to keep things neat. I'm bringing it into a folder called materials that I created, and that's all there is to it. And you can preview this, and I'm just. Uh, using my down arrow to flip through this if I see one I, I want to look at I can see, see what it looks like over here 
That looks neat. Some ceiling. Oh, tile ceiling. Okay. Very good, very good. There. So lots of neat stuff that can be used. Uh, yeah, just let's play play with this one here. So I'm also going to create a uh, a plane, uh, plane. Just bring it in there, and let's say I got my fence in there. Uh, so this is outside. Uh, let's make some concrete. There we go. Throw some concrete there. So you saw me do it. Uh, it's that quick. It doesn't look too bad already. Um, we can play with the size of this to shrink it down. Um, why don't I go ahead and do that um, on my plane and uh, down here? Just uh, let's uh, go 100. No, oh, that's too far. Let's go 10 by 10. There you go. Let's drop a zero off of this too. And you can just play with that to kind of get the get the texture you're looking for in your material. There, I have a concrete uh, pad with a chain link fence, and that's all there is to it. Thanks a lot.